Hello, all my food service power plant friends. This is Jason Wange in Denver, Colorado with your power plant positivity tip number 12. You gotta believe. Now, last week we talked about and went through some exercises to help you clarify what you want. What is your ideal vision in your life or in your company? We went through uh, an exercise where you created a balanced vision statement for your life where you looked at, you know, what do I want my career to look like and my finances and my personal growth or my physical and mental health, and you decided what you want. And the next step in that journey towards accomplishing what you want is simply believing that it's possible. Now, if you're struggle, if you're someone who struggles to believe that good things can happen to you or believing that your wonderful dreams are possible, let's break down what a belief is. A belief is simply a thought that you choose to think over and over and over again. And as we talked about in E plus R equals O in that lesson, you have control over the responses in your life. That's what you have control over, which involves the uh, images you have in your head, the thoughts that you think, and the actions that you take. So I want you to know it's 100% possible to determine what you believe about yourself and the outcomes in your, your own life. And there's incredible power there. So what do you believe? in terms of your vision and what you want. Another way to ask what do you believe is, what do you expect? As you look at what you said you wanted, our goal is to get you to expect every time that it's completely possible. Now, researchers at Baylor University studied this. They had people that had arthritis and they were having arthroscopic knee surgery. They took patients who had these painful, worn out knees and gave them, put them in two different groups. One group was gonna get their knees cleaned out, scoped, and fixed. It was going to happen the right way. And group B was going to have an imaginary surgery. So the doctors actually just put teeny incisions to make it look like they'd done some work, but they actually hadn't done a thing. And then when they studied both groups of those patients two years later, they found that the same percentage in each group experienced good results. They said their knees felt better. Now, how is it possible that a group that actually had no surgery felt better? Well, they expected it. When their brain expected the imaginary surgery to improve it, it actually did. They call this expectancy theory. I don't know if you've heard the quote. I think about it all the time. As they say, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. That's why so many of us think we're so smart. You've got people, we've got people in our lives who think they can accomplish things, and then oftentimes they do. And then you probably know people who are, you know, they think, oh, I'll never be able to do that. Or I won't be able to accomplish that. And guess what? They don't. So oftentimes what we expect or what we believe to be able to accomplish in our lives is exactly what we get. Now, uh, here's a great little story that a good analogy for this. And this is from my friend Mark in Southern California. He's a track coach. Okay. So for hundreds and hundreds of years, people had been trying to break the four minute mile. Okay. And in the 1940s, someone actually ran four minutes and one second. And that time lasted for nine years. And what all the experts were saying at the time was that it simply wasn't physically possible to break a four minute mile. That, you know, you'd, uh, you'd collapse or you'd have challenges with your body. You could even die if you ran a sub four minute mile. And then on May 6, 1954, a guy from the UK, Roger Bannister, was the first person to accomplish it. He ran a three minute 59.4 second mile. And this is after hundreds of years of people trying to. Well, guess what happened a month later? Another gentleman, a guy named John Landy of Australia, broke it again. And then about a year later, three guys broke it in the same race. Why is it that we had something last hundreds of years, people trying to accomplish something and no one did, and then you watch someone do it, and then the dominoes start to fall. You see more and more very quickly. Today, lots of high schoolers break a four minute mile. It's simply because people didn't expect to be able to do it. They didn't think they could. And actually, of course they could. Now, as we've seen here, oftentimes, our biggest limitations aren't what we don't know. It's what we do know that simply isn't correct. It's just not true. It wasn't true that you couldn't break it. Now, as you look at the what you want in your life, and as we get you to a place where you come to expect that you can accomplish it, here's a couple things that I want you to do. I want you to sit back and write down what are some limiting beliefs I have in those different areas of your life where you're at your vision? What are some beliefs you have around 
that you might not be able to accomplish it or that you can't um, you know can't fit into that pair of clothing that you've wanted to for all these years or you can't make that annual income that you've always dreamed about or you can't um, believe that you can you know go actually get close with a particular type of customer or a particular segment what are belie limiting beliefs that you have and I want you to write them out okay next I want you to go find stories or people who have done what you want just like that four minute mile all someone needed was a story to prove it was possible and for us we just need to be able to see that the things we want are possible chances are that the people who have accomplished what you want to oftentimes we hold them in this uh, this image of them that they just always had it easy they always knew how to make it happen and oftentimes that's not true I had a friend call me last week and say hey thanks for doing these videos and you know why are you doing them and I said well here's what my life looked like at one point he said oh my gosh I never would have guessed in a million years that you had gone through all those things yeah there's a lot of people who are accomplishing things that we want to that struggled at different points and they had to learn and they had to grow and they had to persevere so I want you to go find stories that show you that your dreams what you want is possible maybe it's the chicken soup for the soul books or a whole bunch every book I think has a different theme so Go find some of those and read a whole bunch of stories. Google stories on whatever it is you want to accomplish, whether it's career or uh, health goals or finances, whatever it is. Start reading about people who did it, and that will help you believe that it's actually possible. And in the coming days, just so you know, we'll go through different strategies to release some of your limiting beliefs around what you want so that we can help you accomplish them. Hey, I hope it's a great day. Um, know that you've got this that you are the one that controls the beliefs that you have that say, you know what, I can get through this and thrive or I can't. And I believe that you can. Have a great one.